Hi, welcome to this podcast um, on inventory valuation. Uh, this po podcast is going to focus on periodic FIFO. And I want to initially highlight something for you because this is sometimes the verbiage you see as it relates to periodic. This says, assume that the perpetual inventory records are kept in units only. If you see something like that, units only, that means periodic. And of course, we're doing FIFO. Now, this is the information that's given to us. Here's our purchases, and here's the sales we've had. And what I've done, and I think this is key to successfully doing these problems, is I've gone ahead and created this table. And uh, um, so I think maybe, you know, if you want to pause the video at this point and write that down so you can follow along, I think you'll find that um, of some value. Okay. Um, so how have I created this table? Well, I've taken my beginning inventory plus all of my purchases, which are listed here, and brought those down here as well as the unit cost and then I just extended them and then I've subtracted costs of goods sold so I added up all of these units I sold which are 5200 and what that then leaves me with is ending inventory uh, and you remember the calculation that we've seen right beginning inventory plus net purchases equals goods available for sale minus cost of goods sold equals ending inventory. Okay. So that's where um, that's where I've created uh, this table. And uh, again, I think to, to, uh, the easiest way to do these types of problems is to go ahead and replicate this table. Okay, so what we know uh, in this particular case is the number of units we have available for sale, the um, the units that were sold, and the ending inventory. What we need to figure out, what the problem generally asks is one of these two. Either how much is the value of costs of goods sold and or how much is the value of our ending inventory. And so I'm going to take you through the process of, of figuring that out. Okay, so um, the way I start with this is um, I have the units I sold, 5,200, and what I want to go through is figure out which 5,200 did I sell. And I'm going to scroll down here a little bit, actually, because I don't need that information up on top anymore. Um, and I'm going to summarize it down here. So... I sold 5,200 units. This is FIFO. So FIFO stands for first in, first out. Now, um, one other thing I want to mention about the periodic inventory is we assume, so maybe I will go back up here, we assume that all of these sales happened at the end of the month. Now, you can see the dates there, and we know that they didn't happen at the end of the month. But the key assumption, one of the key assumptions with the periodic inventory is that all the goods were available for sale, even if that's not really the case. Remember, this is a valuation assumption. Um, and so that's why I could just total these and make that 5,200. Now, when we later, when you look at a podcast on perpetual, that will be different. The dates matter. Uh, and we'll keep track of those things differently. But for periodic, the dates of the sales don't matter. We assume that everything is available for sale. Okay, so now let's get back down to my uh, calculation here. So, I sold 5,200 units. First in, first out, which were the first ones I sold? I sold all of these, leaving zero. And so here in my cost of goods sold section, I'm going to write that I sold 800 at, that's a, multiplied by 320 is 2560. 
Okay, now I haven't accounted for anything, everything, right? I've accounted for 800. So then the next first one's in. I sold all 2,200 of those, leaving zero. So I sold 2,200 times 310 is uh, 6820. Now I've, now I've accounted, if you accumulate that or these, that's, that's 3,000. So now I still have a knot at 5,200. So I sold all 1,200 of those, leaving zero. So 1,200 times 330 is 3960. And let's see, so far I've accounted for 42 of the 5,200. So I, there's 1,000 more that I sold. And those 1,000 came from here. So I sold 1,000, leaving 800. And so 1,000 at $3.40. And I haven't done this math ahead of time, but that looks like $3,400. And so now I can total these. OK, so there's 3,000. So there's uh, four. four 5,200, right? So now that matches. I can now, account, I've accounted for the 5,200 that I sold. And what was the cost of those? Well, I need to add these up, so uh, let me do that real quick. 2560, 6820, 3960, 3400 is 16,000. Uh, 740 and that is my cost of goods sold so I can now plug that in here minus 16740 uh, and uh, now if I want to know the value of the 1300 in any in inventory I just I just take the goods available for sale minus what I sold and that gives me the value of my ending inventory And that is not the right answer, so let me try this again. <laughs> 21, uh, 210 minus 16, 740 is 44, 70. And so this is the type of problem you'll see. What is the value of the ending inventory for periodic LIFO? If you get a question like that, the answer is 44, 70. What is the value of the cost of goods sold under periodic FIFO? If you get a question like that, the answer is uh, 16,740. Um, now, we can also verify that number. And the way that I can verify it is I can just go back up to my uh, table and see if I can prove the 4470. So what do I have left in ending inventory? Well, I have 800 at three dollars and forty cents and uh, let me multiply that quickly that is twenty seven twenty and I have five hundred at three dollars and fifty cents and that's seventeen fifty so I total those there's the thirteen hundred units that matches what I calculated there and uh, I add these two. I add these two together, right? Twenty-seven twenty plus seventeen fifty, and I get forty-four seventy. And that matches with what we have there. Okay, so that is um, uh, my example for periodic FIFO.